Righto, I'm nearly out. Um, this video is just about to start day for you guys. Uh, I've got some pretty good footage, I hope. So keep watching, it should be a good one. Now, if um, you haven't subscribed and you've been watching a few videos, jump on, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Make a comment. Always try to get to everyone's comments to answer them. And if you want to support the channel, uh, there should be a link in the description. Jump over to Patreon and uh, sign up to um, whatever tier that you feel comfortable with. What that'll get you is uh, early access to the videos, ad-free, and um, I'll be doing giveaways with all the products that I get for free to review. So once I've done the review on them and I've, I've given them a good test out, I'll be uh, running some sort of a, uh, you know, Patreon only competition where you might get yourself a game camera or an O light headlamp or a knife. So check it out uh, if you can. All the other guys that have already jumped on board, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I can get this video out to you pretty quick. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, the snow is a bit low, 500 metres today, and uh, we found a bit on the way up here. It's taken way longer than usual. Just bashed our way through some snow, and uh, it's 10 o'clock at night, so we're here a bit late. <laughs> but we're about to walk in. We've got a couple of hour walk in, and uh, we're in here for three days. So let's see what we can find in the next three days hopefully we should get amongst some rut and stags we've got snow down to 500 today so it might have pushed a few deer in hopefully but uh we'll see if we can make it happen Uh, got in at midnight to this spot last night and um, so we've broken the back of the hike in just gonna complete the rest of it this morning we've got a perfect day blue skies so we had mega cold front come through in the last couple of days so deer should be out feeding hopefully so should be able to glass a few up this morning in the sun hopefully Yeah, top to the left, is that another deer or not? He's... He's, uh, I don't know... 22, maybe? Could be a little bit longer. He's a nice bodied deer though. In his low twenties. We'd like to find something a bit bigger to walk all the way up there for. They're popping out though. What's that? Five for the morning. Oh, 
I think he's got a wonky handle of that bloke. Yeah. Oh, he's got a little calf. Three beauty now. Down the move. They're out feeding today. You see them in there? In the hill of that? Yeah. Well, we need to watch them because there's two. And there's another one coming below it. It's only a baby. Bugger. Well, that's disappointing. But if he's with them, there's no big stag standing anywhere near them. Because he would get flogged. Hmm. It'd be funny if you were videoing like this but not watching. Yeah, we've had an awesome morning. I think we've seen 10 deer now. Uh, three stags, a uh, spike, uh, maybe a 12 or 14 inch sort of thing, and, and something up around in the low 20s, right up high. Um, and a lot of hinds with calves. So we're amongst it. We've just got to wait for those big boys to come out and start sniffing around the hinds, hopefully. Uh, we're just making our way up to camp here. We'll set up a camp and uh, we'll do a bit of glassing this afternoon and see what we see. And if we don't see anything we like, we'll punch into some new country tomorrow. James wasn't feeling real good, so he's had a bit of a day nap and a bit of a feed. Anyway, I decided I'd do the good thing and punch into the creek and grab some water. So we're out of water. And uh, anyway, so I did that. Went through one little gully, it was still dry, and I could hear water running in another one, so sort of working my way down towards it, concentrating on getting to the water and didn't see the 24, 25-inch stag just standing there at 50 metres. Anyway, he gave me a big blast and took off. So, uh, lesson learnt, when you're going to get water, take the client and his rifle with you. Anyway, you'll just see a couple of hinds I'm watching at the moment. It's only 20 past two on the Arvo. That stag I put up was feeding, so they've, they haven't stopped feeding yet. Um, and I'm guessing that's because that cold front that came through hunkered them down and they haven't been out feeding much and it's really cold. Sun hasn't poked out much today and yeah, it keeps them active after a cold front, so just remember that one. It's a big thing. Fresh thread in there a bit. 
He's not too bad on his ride out one. It's a different speed. No, it's the same one. He's a lot better than we thought though. He smelled us. No. He's got a good right antler, he's got a weak left antler. Probably 20 inches on the left antler and 22 or 3 on the other antler maybe. No, he didn't smell us because he's back there, you know. Probably not. I think this deer's got. It's facing to the right and slightly uphill. It's got, a, it's got a bird in its ear. See that? It's got a bloody bird. It's got its head right against the tree. Yeah, it's got a bird in its ear. <laughs> yeah, it's got the bird back in its ear again. Get out of there, bird. It's starting to piss me off now. That's hilarious. Nice, no, she's chasing the bird. Oh yeah? Oh,
Right over on the hike out. We've um, <laughs> just got to try and keep up with James. He's bloody pushing me. So, yeah, now we've had a great trip. Seen a bunch of deer. Got some good footage, hopefully. And, yeah, had a great time. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Jump over to Patreon if you can. James is a patron. Patron, whatever you call yourselves. And, uh, yeah, support the channel if you can. That'd be great. What is it? Friday, 1 o'clock. And that was from Tuesday night. <laughs>